Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another Ultimate Driving video. My name is of course Carboom and today we're going to be checking out an Easter update that Ultimate Driving dropped today. And it is super, super cool. It's got some limited edition cars in here as well as the one of a highly requested car as well, a Bugatti. So we're going to be checking all that out in today's video. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so in today's video, I'm not too too sure if we'll have time to check out the brand new Bugatti, which I know is a highly requested car that everyone wanted to be added into the game. But today we're going to be focusing on the Easter themed update, which is two Easter themed cars, I think it is, or at least one Easter themed car and two limited edition cars, including the Easter themed car and a couple of Easter themed skins as well. But we're going to go into the dealership right now and we are going to check out these limited edition cars. And here they are, the brand new cars right at the top. So we have the chicken edition, the Easter themed car right here, which is a very odd one. It is a car that has a chicken head and a chicken tail on it. So that looks really, really cool. And this is a limited edition car. This, as I'm recording this, you only have six days and 14 hours to get this car. It's free as well, and it will be in your infantry, I think, um, when this time runs out. So you'll be able to get it now and keep it later on. So this will be a cool limited edition car, and it looks super, super cool. Next, we have the Redneck Pope Mobile, which I'm not too, too sure what a redneck is, but this is based off another new car, the Pope Mobile here, which is the nicer looking one, the better, more quality looking one, but that costs 100k. Or you can get the limited edition free redneck mm, Pope Mobile, which is a truck and a little seat on the back of an office chair by the looks of things. And a bunch of just a roof, very weirdly constructed. So of course, I'm going to be getting these two cars here. They're free, so you can come on the game, check them out. Get them for free, why not? And then you'll have them in your inventory and you'll be able to show off in the future when they are more rare. And this is the brand new Bugatti right here, which I'll be doing a video on later on. Right now, I don't have enough cash to get this, nor do I have this car. So I'll have to see if I can get this car and I'll be doing a video on that car in a later date. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you are subscribed and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss the rundown on this car right here. But first off, I'm just going to claim these two cars, and I think we're going to be checking out this car right here, the Easter-themed car, for the Easter update. So let's get this car out. Alrighty, guys, so now we have the chicken car spawned out. I have claimed both of them, so I do have them in my infantry now, which I recommend all of you do. It'll take a couple of minutes. Come on, link is the first one in the description down below. You can just click on and get these two cars and keep them forever. But actually, I forgot to check the stats of this car because we all need to know what the stats of our chicken car is. But taking a look at this car, it looks super, super funny, especially if you go head on. It sort of looks like the chicken's angry. And on the side, it looks like it's just normal chicken. I don't really know. Um, but it's got the tail back here and, of course, the chicken head. And it's just a normal, old-fashioned car. So that's really, really cool. But we're going to check out the stats right here. When I was driving that out, the acceleration did feel very, very sluggish and slow. But we're going to check it out here. I might get it in the yellow color because that looks really, really cool. Um, but here we go. So the top speed is 107 miles per hour. A 0 to 60 in 9.9 .9 seconds, which is basically just 10 seconds. A cash back of 400 cash per mile. So that is pretty good for a free car. Like I always say, it's a free car. You are going to get a plus in just one mile. You are going to come out positive because it is free and you get a free 400,000 per mile, which is super, super cool. But we're going to unpack this. We're going to take it into the dealership right there. See what we can put on this car to make it look really, really cool. And this just looks really, really cool. And I also noticed while turning there, there is indeed an interior. That is super, super cool. This, I think, is one of the only cars with a proper, fully done interior. We have the steering wheel, of course, the acceleration brake and brakes down there. We have the dashboard. We have everything in an old-fashioned car. It's an old-fashioned car, so it is not going to have the state-of-the-art stuff that you normally get in a car these days. And it's even got seat belts in the back. So that is really, really cool. This is a heavily detailed car, which is really, really awesome. See, it's only a limited edition car. They've gone all out in this car, which is something really, really awesome to see. So I am trying to customize this. I am pressing E, and it doesn't seem like it wants to take this car into the customization area. So I'm going to try one more time and see if it works. If it doesn't, 
we'll just have to take it out on the drive completely stock which will be a bit of a shame and it isn't working so i don't know if that's an issue uh, with this car or just a random issue there i don't really know but we're not going to be able to customize i'll try again later on to see if we can get this car with the max boost and to change the color because i don't know i think the yellow would look much better and a better theme for this chicken oh wait no there we go so we have managed to get in it was just very very late but we're gonna change this color i'm gonna i'm gonna customize it a little bit see what looks good and i'll be back in a second so when i was customizing i changed to skins just to look what skins would look cool i just noticed my skin my code skin is giving it a bit of a weird effect it hasn't changed the color of the car my skin of course chroma crush and it's just changed the car to black and it's only put the textures on the chicken and the tail which is really really cool it does it to that is really weird it does it to every texture it doesn't put the texture on the car just the chicken that is really really cool that's different i don't think i've seen that before but i think the gold skin is looking very nice on this of course it changes the car to a yellow color and puts the texture on the chicken which you can't really see there is a texture there of course it is the gold skin it's got a little bit of a texture i think we're gonna rock this because this is looking really really cool i want to get some window tint and i'll be back in a second again once we have this car kitted out all right guys so now we have this car fully specced out i haven't put boost on it because i just want to see what this experience is like stock but we have the everything yellow we have the car colored yellow and the gold skin of the chicken we have the window tint yellow and the rims yellow as well so this car is looking super super awesome right now so we're just gonna take it out for a little spin see how it drives see how it handles and maybe get into a race with somebody else in the server so as expected the acceleration is super super sluggish it's taken me a long time to get up to its very slow max speed at 107 by the looks of things it's sort of fluctuating between 105 and 107 um, but we are gonna just take it around some corners see how well it handles around the corners at going at such a low speed i expect it to do fairly well i don't really expect it to flip over but we're just gonna take it around this fairly sharp corner right here we're gonna slow down and we are gonna turn it and it does have an awful turning circle there Compared to other cars, this car's turning circle it did not feel that responsive or that fast, but it didn't flip over, which is always a plus when your car doesn't flip over. But driving this around, when the Easter event is over and you won't be able to get this car anymore, you will look super, super cool driving around with a car and a chicken and a tail attached to it as well, because this definitely stands out. It definitely looks really, really cool. And I can't wait until this becomes more rare because everyone, of course, is going to probably be driving this. And when the event is over and not many people are driving it yeah, and you have it, you will definitely be standing out. So I recommend you getting it right now before you forget or it's too late because you won't have this chance again and it won't be coming back. Alrighty, guys. So we are now in going into a race with, I think it was a McLaren. I don't think we're going to come out on top of this car. This is going to be an absolute horrible, horrible race. But we'll see how long it'll take to do this race. And I noticed while I was waiting, the headlights are a bit broken when you turn them on. Instead of lighting up in front, they light the car up for some reason. And I just got a weird boost there, but then he overtakes me like it's no issue at all. Um, but the headlights, I think, are facing backwards for some reason. So that's probably an easy fix. But headlights are really not working to their best ability right now. Even with high beams on as well, it just makes the car so incredibly bright. But we are gonna we have boost now, a very small boost. It's facing downwards, I think. That's why it didn't really look like it was doing much. But we are at our max speed right now. We can't really go much faster. And I think we're doing alright to see how slow this car actually goes. The turning circle is really coming in to show how bad it is i can't really complain too much like i said it's a free car and i don't think this car is meant for racing it's really just meant for the looks and it really does pull off the looks it really does look really really weird looking dead on with this chicken and with you sitting in the car next to it it looks really really funny and i, I really can't wait for more people to be driving this car around it'll be super super cool to see Alrighty guys, we have just passed the finish line now. Of course, we did come second out of a 1v1 race, but we did not do that bad. We got just over 30 seconds behind 
a hypercar, guys. A hypercar, a supercar, a car that accelerates super fast, a car that goes over probably 200 miles per hour. I'm not too sure on the specs of that car, but 30 seconds is not that bad for a free car. We did a lot better than I actually thought with that race. So that that is really, really cool, but the acceleration is so incredibly slow. I think this is the worst accelerating car that I have. But it's free and there's too, not too much to complain. Like I said, this car is definitely not for winning races. It's more for the looks. And the looks, it definitely pulls off. From the chicken on the front and the tail on the back. And the interior, the very impressive interior. And interiors are pretty hard to do in cars. And ultimate driving, I'm glad they look like they're starting to bring in interiors. Which is something really, really cool to see. And this car is definitely an awesome looking car. And I'm so glad that I got this car in time. Don't forget guys, press the link in the description, first link to join this game, two minutes, buy or get, claim both of the chicken car and the redneck pope car, I think that's what it's called, and like I said guys, if you want to make sure you have subscribed, turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss my video on the brand new Bugatti, which should be coming out in just a couple of days, smash that like button if you did enjoy the video, because it helps out the video quite a bit. And it gets this video out there so people know to come and claim this very, very odd Easter update car. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.